What's going on? Spun FPV Canada here, and this is part one of the Nano Talent Evo build series. In this video, we're going to be doing the servo mod for the wings. We're going to be taking these servos and installing them in the wings for more roll authority. We're also going to be taking this 2mm carbon rod and we're going to be installing it into the tail to make the tail a lot stronger. And last but not least, we're going to be taking this amazing goop which is an adhesive, a silicone adhesive, and we're going to be applying it to the whole fuselage. Alright, so to install the servos into the wings, what we're going to need is a ruler and a pencil. So the first thing we're going to do is plot out where the servo is going to go into the wings. So get your ruler out. The measurements that I'm going to be using for the first edge is 10 centimeters up and six millimeters across so the servo will sit somewhere over here so let's do that So now that we got our location drawn out, we can take our knife, cut into the foam, and then install the servo. So now that we have the servo's positions traced out with a knife and cut out all around the edges with a knife, we're going to use a Dremel and we're going to remove the rest of the foam inside. So make sure you set your Dremel height to the appropriate height and yeah, we can start Dremeling. So now that you have your servo hose, holes cut out, test fit the servo. And next step is to cut this rod right here that connects to the link. So to do that, you're going to need a saw and just place it in here and start cutting. So throughout the wires, Instead of cutting into the wing, I just took this carbon fiber rod, stuck it through the wing. Most of the wing underneath here is hollow. You remove the connector off the servo, and then you just tape it to the carbon rod and pull it through. So now that you pulled the wire through, you can install the servos. Put the connector on, center the servo, make sure the horn's in the right position, and then we move, move on to connecting the horn to the aileron. So now what we're going to do is install this carbon fiber rod in the tail. So we get one of the tail sections, we plot out where we want the carbon fiber rod, so I want it right about there. Get our ruler, place the ruler, get our X-Acto knife, cut a line, not too deep though, and then we get a screwdriver 
and we put the screwdriver and we follow the line just to open it up so we can install the carbon fiber rod without any issue. Place it inside. So now we can cut the carbon rod and get our super glue and glue it in. So now we're going to be gooping the fuselage. What we need to do first is get some rubbing alcohol, put it on some tissue paper, and wipe down the whole fuselage to get rid of any mold release or oil or grease or dirt. Alright, now we can start gooping the fuselage, so we're going to do it in sections and let it dry and then continue doing other sections. So you need your goop, you need an old card, plastic card, so you can scrape the goop off and some tissue paper. Open this up. Put a nice bead on. Get your card. And then just spread it. Now do that to the whole plane. So now that the fuselage is fully gooped, we can go ahead and laminate this and that will make this fuselage really really strong and last forever. So remember when you're gooping this, do it in an outside environment somewhere where there's a lot of airflow, because this stuff does stink. Now to sum up what we did in this video. So we added some servos into both wings to give the roll access more authority. We installed some carbon fiber rods into the tail to give it more stiffness. We gooped the whole fuselage and laminated the whole nano talon for longevity purposes so this thing will last forever. In the next video we're going to add a flight controller and FPV system into the nano talon. So stay tuned for that.